Okay, yeah, so we've got our unit, which is unit 17. So this is on the second row of units. As you can see, two beds. Since brushing is not here, one is for equipment, one is for sleeping on. Bathroom, shower, fridge, kettle, small cupboard, and storage space. Outside seating. So I just want to show you. Um, when we were here in February, we stayed in that unit actually. So we stayed down there and we park on the road. But uh, I was told to park up here this time around. So it's going to make loading and offloading a little bit of a climb and a workout. But we'll do it. So hopefully. The car stays in shade here. So one of our first sightings on the first afternoon drive was a little um, elephant that had lost the tip of his uh, trunk actually um, and what he was doing was um, using his foot to break the grass. Um, unfortunately there's a big problem of snares up in the Punda Maria area so they do sometimes get their um, trunks caught in these snares um, like we showed the last time we were there as well. So the first night um, of the birding on foot was actually set aside to go look for the pennant wing niger. Now, um, if you don't know this bird, um, it's uh, a very uh, beautiful niger with long pennants off the end of its wing. And um, it's on many birders' um, lists to tick off. Um, and November is when they display around the Punda Maria uh, area. Um, so we went out uh, with all the groups basically that were with us as well as one uh, truck from the camp as well, which was on the night drive, to try and um, locate the pennant wing nightjars. Um, they usually have uh, what is called a lek, uh, where they used to display. Um, so the males will display uh, for the females and fly around and, and try to, um, you know, attract females into mating that way. Unfortunately, um, I was not rolling, but we saw um, two uh, female pennant wing nightjars come in and then one male flittingly uh, appear and then dive into the um, undergrowth. And then as we were waiting, um, we saw the female fly out again. Yeah, yeah. Here? There's the female. Oh, So yeah, I was kicking myself for not almost recording as soon as we got off um, the truck. Um, unfortunately, that was about the sum total of uh, the display we got. Um, the one male was enough to identify 
the birds by. And, um, you know, I think about half of all of the people that were there, um, maybe less than half, got a view of it. Um, and then we did speak to our guy that, you know, um, has he seen it uh, so bad? And um, he's been uh, going up uh, to the area for almost 20 years. And he says that this display um, that we saw on that evening was possibly the worst that he had seen. And we actually then um, asked if we could, um, you know, go back on one of the following nights, um, maybe when, you know, the whole um, group wasn't there to try and maybe uh, get a better view of uh, the pendant wing nature, because um, of the, um, I think, nine people on the truck, um, there was two uh, who did not see the mail go across. So it was not enough for them to actually call the identification on the bird. But um, unfortunately, as it turned out, uh, we never got a chance to uh, go back to see it um, again. Uh, but hopefully, um, I'll be back in the near future, um, around November again, and try and uh, get out by myself and maybe uh, you know, spend some time just trying to see that uh, pen and wing nature. However, I did count it as um, one new species uh, for me, um, you know, on the trip. So guys, uh, since I've got this uh, image of a square tail niger um, on uh, the screen, uh, let me quickly share an identification tip that I got while on the trip. So previously on a trip um, to Lataba, I was told by the um, guide who took us out for the night drive that if you look at the square tail, uh, he sits with his wing crossed over his tail. Um, but when I posted that onto uh, the um, BirdLife Facebook group, I was told that, um, you know, that could be indicative of both the square tail as well as the uh, fiery neck niger. And I myself then saw a uh, fiery neck niger that uh, sat with his uh, wings folded over his tail. So it's, it's not the um, best way to identify uh, whether it's a uh, square tail or a fiery neck. What you should actually look at is um, the tail and whether it's got a white outer feather all the way up the tail or just halfway up the tail. So this being a square tail uh, niger, it has the um, outer white feather all the way up the tail until the tail meets its rump, whereas the fiery neck niger will have a uh, white outer feather only halfway up the tail and then it becomes uh, fawn or brown colored again. So that's the most reliable 
uh, indicator that uh, distinguishes between the uh, square tail and the fiery neck nature. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Oh, and they sent marking as they go. Yeah. Territor territorial markings going up. Embrace the bugs. <laughs> Pregnant female, this one. Yeah. This one. Do they have a den site for some of them? I don't know. I was actually oh, discussing yeah, yeah. with guys yesterday that there's no hyenas walking around the camp, which I thought was quite unusual. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.